Soft, feminine, and colorful feather manny. There's just something about this design that reminds me of a peaceful, calm summer night watching the sunset and relaxing with my friends and loved ones. To achieve this look, gather your favorite base coat. A couple different shades of polish. I chose some of my favorite pastel colors, but remember, if you don't have these shades, you can always customize this look to suit your palette. A makeup sponge, toothpicks for the feather design, or a striping brush. Uh, mine has seen better days. A cleanup brush, Q-tips for larger messes, your preferred top coat, acetone or nail polish remover, and if you do not have a makeup sponge, an unused eyeshadow applicator works great as well. Let's begin with applying base coat. I'm a huge advocate for base coat and cannot live without this stuff. Did you know there are many different types of base coat? Different novel for another day though. I didn't include white polish in the list of necessary items because this step is optional. I personally find ombre works best with a white base coat, but if you would like to achieve a sheer look, then you can skip this step. Now this is one of the parts I used to struggle with all the time when experimenting with ombre nails. I used to slather on the polish thinking it'll create a better gradual effect on the nails. Boy was I wrong. Paint on the polish as if you were applying it to your nails and overlapping the colors is acceptable. The most important thing to keep in mind is that we are going to be building up the color, so don't worry if your first application doesn't seem as pigmented as you'd like it to be. Once you have the polish on the sponge and you know for certain that the white base on your nail has dried completely, dab the sponge to your nail making sure to cover its entire surface. See, the results aren't exactly what you were thinking, but don't worry, this is only the first layer. When this layer dries completely, repeat the previous step until you've reached your desired look. I just want to remind you, as in most designs, it is important to wait till the polish is dry before adding another step. Again, when I was first learning this technique, I didn't think that it was that important to wait till the polish dried between applications because, well, you're just blending the colors, right? Well, sure, it might work, but normally I would end up with blotchy patches, the sponge lifting the polish, or just mushed up not pretty results. Okay, enough rambling, let's continue. Yep, cleanup time. Take your Q-tip dipped in acetone or nail polish remover and clean around your nail beds. Once most of the polish is gone, you can take your cleanup brush to create a more clean and precise look. I always feel a lot better after this step is complete. Now you could always just stop here, apply top coat, and you're good to go. However, if you'd like to add a design, take your striper brush, dip it in a light shade of polish, and with one swooping motion, paint the stem of the feather. You can go over it a couple times if you wish to make it look a bit thicker. Then, with light and short wispy motions, create the little feathers. I tried to keep my brush on the drier side so that I could create a fluffier look, but I also randomly would paint on thicker lines to give it more definition. Also, try to keep the base of the feather fuller and the top thinner. Do not worry if some parts seem a bit goopy. When you apply top coat, it melds the colors together, you'll see. Repeat this step on the rest of your nails except your ring finger. On your ring finger, we are going to create a variation of the feathers. Randomly create the feather stems on your nail. Depending on how long or short your nail is, you'll be able to create about three to five mini feathers. Once you have the stems, apply the same steps as before. Just remember to use smaller brush strokes, all while keeping the feathers fuller on the bottom and thinner on the top. There you go. Pretty whimsical feather design. As I mentioned before, top coat is the hero in any ombre nail design. Once applied, it magically blends and brings a look together. Voila! Much better! Your look is now complete. Doesn't this design just make you feel like you want to put on your favorite summer dress and enjoy the summer weather by the beach? Leave me a comment letting me know what it reminds you of. Remember, if you choose to recreate this mini, I'd love to see it by sharing them with me on Instagram at NinaTuck using the hashtag veganfingers. If you'd like to follow along with more fun designs, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a huge thumbs up. Thank you for watching and until next time!